All right, y'all. We are uh, we are here. We are gonna work, start working on the octagon beaver blanket. So here it is. It's uh, each one of these squares or octagons, I should say, is 20 by 20, all ways. And then we got uh, there. There's a dozen of them here. We got three wide, four tall. I see. I don't know why, but my iPad never see, seems to ever want to zoom out. It always seems like it's like really close, but I'm standing on a standing on a stool right now, trying to get you guys a good view. So the plan is, let me just throw these out here real quick. So we got these diamond pieces here, and these are going to go in there. We originally thought we were going to put them in there going this way fur down with all the rest of the beaver and stuff but when we started to look at it the it gives it a more dramatic effect if we turn them around the opposite way and put them in this way so do, 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 do. there we go okay so now we just kind of lift these up, just kind of work that fur in there like it would be if it was a seam. So, and now watch when we look at the difference. See that difference in fur pattern? All I did was turn the beaver hair the opposite way. That looks really, really good. Now, and I started thinking, you know, that looks really, really good from this side. So this will be the, bo the bottom of your bed, uh, of the bed here. So let me take you around to the top. And it's a whole nother effect because you're looking into the fur itself. Now they look dark from this side and, and the beavers themselves look like they're a lighter color because you're looking into the grain. So I thought this was really, really cool. Once we get three more in here and everything, it'll, it'll uh, really look good because it'll block out all this white table you can see down through here. So besides these uh, little triangle pieces here, then what we're gonna do, so is we're gonna come down here and we are gonna and we are gonna have partials and they are gonna stick in here. So that's what's gonna make the border. See, we're gonna we're gonna cut out some more of these squares. They're gonna go in here, they're gonna make they're gonna make a border all the way around it like that. Then to top off all that, if that will if that ain't enough for you, then we're gonna go around it. We're going to lay coyotes hides all the way around it and it's going to add about an extra 10 inches per side, 8 to 10 inches per side um, of this blanket. So it's it should be really, really big by the time we get done. So and this coyote here is whole. This coyote here is actually going to be shipped out, but it's, it's not one of the ones going to be used, but it's just... It's just to give you an idea, and, and the fur is actually probably going to follow the beaver fur. It's going to go, it's going to go down, downwards like that at an angle. And then I haven't decided to cross the top yet. Um, if we're going to have the fur going sideways like this, or if I'm going to cut little chunks, little chunks out, and the fur is going to sit at the top like this and just get cut off right here, and it's going to be all the fur is gonna go the same way like that. Um, not sure yet, but we'll get that figured out for uh, later. But this is gonna be the first video of uh, many coming up. I'll keep you guys up to date on how this is coming together. Once we start tacking it all together and we start getting uh, the pieces in place, then we'll take you up. I got a Cobra Class 26. We'll start running running these pieces through the Cobra class 26, getting it all sewed in. I got some extra, uh, some special, some thicker yarn and some thicker thread coming this week. So, uh, it'll be able to handle this beaver hide a little bit better than the lighter stuff that we use on foxes and things like that. So, but anyway, yeah, we'll go over all that stuff and, and everything. And you guys, uh, keep, keep watching and stuff so we can, uh, uh you'll be able to see the end result because i think this one is going to be one cool blanket by the time it gets done it's going to be pretty darn big too these tables are these tables are six foot and the beaver blanket goes from over there 
almost all the way to over here and then with that coyote on there it's gonna it's gonna really add on the uh the width and length to this thing so um y'all keep watching for the next episode i'll try to get it out quick as i can